Yo, 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 what is up guys? Nick Nakai here, Let's Drift Media. Thank you guys for coming back to the channel. If it's your first time here, please hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, also, next video, I'm gonna be doing a Q&A video. So if you guys have any questions for me about anything, being a tech, tools, anything like that, school, uh, down to drifting, I'm down to answer it. So go ahead and drop a comment down below or I also put a post in the community tab and leave your IG tag or something like that. I'm gonna feature everyone who sends in a question. So anyways, on today's video, we are going to do a breakdown on Alex's tool cart. He's also running the same Harbor Freight tool cart that I showed you guys in the last video and you guys saw what I'm running in mine and you guys seem to have really liked that one. So I'm gonna do another video with another technician so you guys can see a different setups that other people run because not everyone runs things the way I run things. So let's go ahead and check it out, Alex. What do we got going on in here? Oh, we got an organized mess going on around here. That's what we call it. <laughs> Basically, I probably have an overkill of tools, but for me, it makes it easier. So obviously, you know, I think this is the best one. An extended quarter inch, it makes it so much easier. I mean, it doesn't have to be Snap-on. There's other brands, but it just happened to fall on my lap. So I got that. And obviously I got the higher impact 3 8 which is amazing on most of the stuff that your little 3 8 can't take off. And then screw gun, of course. And then you got the half inch mid torque. That's the one that I use all the time. You know, that one's always everywhere. Tires all the time. Then you got your quarter. I use this one as a quarter, but quick and easy. Ever since you got the mid torque, have you used your half inch air gun? What's air? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't I don't use any more air tools. Everything's all electric, battery, no more air tools. Besides an air chuck and maybe a blower. That's it. Okay. Other than that, everything's electric. Everything's electric now. And that kinda have a organized mess of sockets. Pretty much mostly doubles of everything. Magnetic swivels. You know stuff that I use all the time you know I'm not gonna sit here and look for one socket so I get impatient so I got doubles of mostly everything just to have ready to go especially we you know as a flat rate tech you gotta hurry up you know time is money all right that was a little tool breakdown of the top the main go-to as I like to call it what else we got in here Alex all right so we'll do plier drawer you know pliers quick and easy hose those removal tools, you know, pretty much an organized mess. Quick and easy. I mean, obviously I know what's in there, but like I said, most people like to be organized. I like to just shove everything and kind of dig for it. Usually I have more, mostly doubles of everything, so I don't spend time. Then, top drawer. You know, you gotta have markers. Markers are key. I say in marking stuff, you know, especially hoses, where the hoses go, especially on the older cars. And, you know, measuring tape now, especially for front cameras. Got all the wheel locks there that we don't have to go looking through glove boxes for them. Yeah. Very convenient right there. Have my own set, picks, plastic pry tool to avoid those scratches. I'd rather, I'd rather have this instead of having to tell the boss, hey man, I scratched another console or something, you know? We gotta buy the customer another one. So that helps a lot. That helps, it really helps a lot. And also for those axle clamps, that helps a lot too. Get them nice and tight. Instead of doing it by hand, just run the bolts down, clamp them down, call it good. That's it for that top drawer. All right. All right, next one. We got a wrench drawer. 
okay? This one for me, I made it easier for me because I got my sock or my extensions on one side, wrenches on the middle, and then my oversized sockets on the other side, you know? So obviously you need swivel socket or spark plug removal. Those make it a lot easier. Your axle nut, you know, and you got your for your ones that you want to scratch the wheels. Easy. And then for your of course for your aftermarket lug nuts get most of them most of them you know what I usually use all the time especially with wrenches there's more there's, I used to have doubles of wrenches you know just to make it quick and easy double 14s double 12s double 10s and then obviously if you didn't, obviously this is one of the ones that you probably should want to invest in because you have both sides swivel 17 19 most of the common ones that you use and you don't have to worry about getting it stuck hit the switch boom go back the other way you know, so this one's also actually a really good one to have along with the 14 or 12 and 14, you know, another good one to have. You know, the list goes on, you know, I, I think that's it. You're gonna use a lot, you know, especially for here, we use it a lot. And next one. So this drawer used to be my air tool drawer, but I got rid of all my air tools. You know, obviously I still have an air hammer, which you're gonna use and your wheel and air chuck. But that's all the air tools I use. I got rid of everything. So I still have them in my toolbox, just in case, you know, if, the, if they just don't cut it by any weird reason. But it's there, I have it, but I don't have to carry it on my tool cart because I'm not gonna use it all the time. So just cut that weight off on that one. And last but not least, my bottom drawer, which is pry bar hammer, you know, all the quick and easy stuff to go, all the stuff I, you know, need, and then you got your breaker bar, or ratchet, whichever one you like to use it as, you know, brake depressors, it's just the bigger stuff that I need on the go, you know, it makes it easier, just open the drawer, grab it, pull it out, you know, especially when your hands are stuck, you know, you need a pry bar real quick, just pull the cool cart, grab the pry bar, and you're good to go. So it just, it just, my setup for me, it makes it different. It makes it easier for me. It's different from a lot of people. You know, it just depends what you, what you get used to, you know? So it's pretty much that bottom drawer. Other than that, bottom cart, you know, I like to keep a piece of wood. You never know when you're gonna need it, either to hold up a motor or, you know, use it to pry out something. It's just there, it helps, it's convenient, it's good to go. And then, obviously this tray, this tray for me has helped me so much. You know, I could do my breaks, I could do whatever. And you know, it also helps me store magnet trays, put my magnet tray down there, you know, brushes, stuff you, just to be quick and easy. How do you like those magnetic trays? Dude, this magnetic tray, I gotta say, is by far one of the best ones I've had so far. This magnet on it is amazing. Just lay it on there dump everything you can on there you know it's just it's just it does its, it does its job it actually really works and other than that not all obviously a jumper because I've, I've i've had good luck with this jumper it hasn't broken on me yet so this is the only reason why i keep it up here because i'm always using it there's always cars that you have to get jump started you know especially out there and then obviously when you're doing under the hood you got your bigger light which is cool, it's magnetic, quick and easy to go. What uh, flashlights are you usually running? So flashlights, I, I changed it up. I decided to go, I've been going with this one. Thanks to Nick for changing my mind, you know, cause it's easier, it fits in your pocket. I don't have the longer, bigger one, you know, like everyone has. So we changed it up, it fits in your pocket, it's comfy and it's not as bad. And, uh, and then I got this one, which is actually really, really cool, you know, especially doing these new recalls. It shoves in tight places. It's magnetic on the bottom, magnetic on both sides right here, you know, and it's got three lights. So obviously we got the pointy one on top, the big one, you know, and then it dims and it memorizes, it memorizes where it's at, you know? So that makes it easier for me so I don't have to go full on bright every time. And then we got the back one, 
which is still pretty bright. So to me, it was worth it. This was worth it, especially doing these new recalls. Shove it in there, turn it on. It doesn't get in the way and you don't have to kill your flashlight. So I bought it. I think it was worth it. It made it easier for me. Makes, makes it better. Anything else you'd like to add or I think you summed it up? Dude. I don't know, any more questions? Go ahead and just you know, leave comments and try and get back either me or Nick, you know? We'll try and answer them, but off the top of my head, I think that's pretty much most of it. All right, man. What about ever since you bought this box, uh, have you really gone to the big white box? That's Alex's box over there, the A&C. Honestly, I hardly use it. I, it's more of a storage. That's you know, so all, all the extra uh, sets of sockets that I have, I keep them in there, all the big, you know, SST tools that I have and everything else, it stays in there. And then that, I, it's always a go-to with the cart, you know? It just makes it easier. I can go from one stall to the other, you know, especially with the tray, I think it helps. You know, put parts, bolts, keep them there, move on to the next car, roll the cart over, and just keep going, you know, just keep that momentum going. All right, guys, well, don't forget to let us know what you thought of this video. Um, I wanted to give you guys a different perspective. Everyone works differently. It all comes down to what works for you. You guys can see Alex has a bunch of tools, but he knows where everything is. When I go to his toolbox, I don't know where anything is. I have to ask him, but he knows where it is. So that's just, like I say, uh, whatever works for you, that's what you got to find. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to leave a comment for the Q&A if you want to get featured and talk to you guys later. So, thanks guys. Peace! Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money, that's a sticker. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker.